Bitcoin many years ago. And obviously, I was a skeptic in the beginning, but now I understand it for what it is. It's digital gold. But did you hear today that Jamie Dimon, before a Senate Banking Committee hearing, said it's time to shut it down? He urged the government to shut down Bitcoin. Um, I understand, but Jamie's never been a fan because Bitcoin, it's not just Bitcoin. Bitcoin and the infrastructure of digital payment systems are a threat to money center banks all around the world. Do you ever, did you see that happening? I mean, when never. JP Morgan CEO no. says that? He's not a fan of Bitcoin and, he, and, and, I, and I, I, I appreciate it and I respect him for it. I don't agree with him on it. And he does not have anything in his bank that's provided return in the last 12 months of Bitcoin. Has. Here's how he put it. Let's listen. I've always been deeply opposed to crypto, Bitcoin, etc. You pointed out the only true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, and that is a use case uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have built up over many years, you know, your customers, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down. Um. I actually factually disagree with him. When you transfer digital assets, there is a forever chain on the blockchain. Uh, the digital payment systems, and to give you an example, you knew the FTX story, you know the Binance story from last week. Mm -hmm. uh, in the UAE, they have launched the M3. Right, new one. A new one, but it's 100% compliant with the ABGM over there, and it's owned by Sovereign Wealth. Do you think the Sovereign Wealth around the world would get involved in trafficking drug money? They don't do that. What they've done is they said, this is a compliant exchange. I flew over there specifically to get shares in it because I own exchanges. Imagine, Liz, if you could have bought a piece of the New York Stock Exchange when it was founded, what it would be worth today. Oh, my goodness. This is the future of digital payment system. Jamie is right to be concerned because it's going to kill his margins. If I open an account on M3 and I want to transfer to Simon Britt 80,000 Swiss francs, I can do it in one second at a fraction of the FX I'm charged to money center banks. And... Compliance will show that transaction with regulators on both sides of the right. ocean. So, I, listen, I 100% respect and I own his stock, by the way. He's a fantastic banker. I totally disagree with him on crypto and money exchanges. We, we got to run, but I, I want to ask you very quickly, Mark Cuban leaving Shark Tank.